Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for a and b in this existing wave equation? Here, yeah, let's look at this as equation one, and here yeah, equation number two. And let's subtract equation two from one. So we have, we have equation one minus equation two, and this implies on the left hand side of equation one we have a square minus b. Then minus the left hand side. In equation 2, we have a square minus a, which is equal to here, we have 20 minus 20, which is equal to 0. Then here, we use minus to open bracket here, then this gives us a square minus b, then minus b square plus a, now equals to 0 from here. And here, Let's rearrange and bring the squares together. So here we have a square minus b square. Then we have plus a minus b equals to 0 from here. And here we apply the perfect square here. That is, this becomes a plus b into bracket a minus b then plus a minus b now equals to zero from here and here we put this in bracket as well and here we have a minus b coming so we factor it out this gives us a minus b then into bracket here we have a plus b left then here we have plus one left which is equal to zero from here and here we have two possible cases okay first we have a minus b equals to zero or we have a plus b plus one equals to zero <coughs> then here we have a equals to b that is a and b we have the same value and here Let's take B and 1 to that side, then A is now equals to here, minus B minus 1. Then, when we solve for this case, recall from equation 1 that we have A square minus B equals to 20. Then, since A equals to B, then we can replace A as B, and this gives us B square minus B. Then take 20 here, we call minus 20, now equals to 0 from here. Then here, we can solve this proverbial equation and factorize. 4 dot A is minus 20, and which will be minus 5 times 4. Then sum is minus 1, which is also minus 1, minus 5 plus 4. Then here, it implies that what we have can be written as b square minus 5b, then plus 4b minus 20, now equals to 0 from here. Then, when we group these two, two, we have b common here. So we have b minus 5 left, then plus 4 into bracket b minus 5, now equals to 0 from here. Then b minus 5 is common, we have b minus 5 out, then into bracket b plus 4 left equals to 0. And here is either b minus 5 equals to 0 or b plus 4 equals to 0 which implies that b is equals to 5 or b equals to minus 4 and since a is equals to b from here then also a here also will be equals to 5 Then B here also be equals sorry A here also be equals to minus four. So we have the B 
force solution a equal 5 b equal 5 and a equal minus 1 b equal minus 1 now in this second case let's solve for the value of a and b from here then from here also using the same equation 1 which is a square minus b equals to 20 then here a is now minus b minus 1 so when we substitute here this gives us minus b minus 1 all square then minus b equals to 20 then the expansion from here becomes b square then plus 2b plus 1 then we have minus b then let's take 20 here minus 20 then equals to 0 from here that is here when we write this again from here this gives us b square 2b minus b that's plus b then plus 1 minus 20 minus 20 then equals to 0 from here then we can solve this Product equation using the correct formula, b will now be equal to minus b here plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. We have b in this formula is the coefficient of b here. So a in the formula a is 1, b is 1, and c is minus 19. Then we're substituting this formula becomes b equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 19 then over 2 times 1 then when we simplify from here becomes b equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 76 then over 2 that is here we have b equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 77 over 2 and also which we can write as b equals to minus 1 over 2 now we separate into two fractions then plus or minus root 77 over 2 so here we have two possible values of b so we have b equals to minus half plus root 77 over 2 or we have b equals to minus half minus root 77 over 2 and from what we have here we can get the corresponding value of a when we have a equals to minus b minus 1 which also is the same thing as minus 1 minus b so we can also write it as minus 1 minus b then from here since we have b here so what we have the solution let's number the solution we have from the two set of solution we have before let's call this a1 a1 b1 let that be 5 comma 5 same thing then a2 b2 that's also the same thing minus 4 comma minus 4 then here let's call this b3 then a3 here we then become okay so a3 this is what we use to find the a here then from here a3 will be equal to minus 1 minus a3 and what is a3 we have and in b3 we have minus half plus root 77 over 2 
Then what we saw from here, a3 will become minus 1 plus half, then minus times plus, that's minus root 77 over 2. And minus 1 plus half is still minus half. So a3 now give us minus half minus root 77 over 2. So here we can now write a3 comma b3 out as a3 we have minus half minus root 77 over 2. Then comma b3 we have minus half plus root 77 over 2. Then also here, this, let's call this b4. Then also a4 here using this relation will be minus 1 minus b4, which is minus half minus root 77 over 2. Then a4 here will give us minus 1 here plus half then plus root 77 over 2 when minus open this bracket then we have a4 now equal to this is still minus half then plus root 77 over 2 so also we have a4 comma b4 we can write the solution half as well so we have a4 comma b4 the next set of solution that's minus half plus root 77 over 2 comma b4 minus half minus root 77 over 2 and when we look at this a3, B3, and A4, B4, we discover that what we have for A3 here is B4 here, so it's interchange, and also A4 here is the same thing as the B3 here. So here we have this set of solutions from here, and uh, the first two set of solutions have the same thing for A and B. So thank you for watching. Don't forget if you have subscribed to this channel. And turn on the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next class and bye for now.